then we get Gulen the Fire Eater. On hard mode, in fact, this guy is actually a very large reason for why I didn't do hard mode. Okay. So if I would have done that on hard mode, I would have already lost the fight. If you look down, you'll see that he has over 10 times my health. He has a lot of health. And if you didn't notice, most of my attacks to him deal about one damage. He will always come out of one of those lava pools flaming. And you want to be careful about that, because it hurts a lot. The down slice is actually the strongest attack against him. And in this version, the, it's not as bad, but the main trick to be careful of is when he pops out, getting him to come to an open enough spot that you can just chase his tail and wait for a good opportunity to be able to down slice boost in this battle is very good for damage, because it'll make you hit more times during a down thrust, and that's very important in this battle. It is a battle of attrition. What you want to do, multiply his health, or divide his health by 10, or so I believe it is. If his, or really look at, just look at your health bars. If your health bar is still bigger than his, you're doing good. But the only problem is, he can deal a lot more damage to you a lot faster than you can deal it to him. So that's not a perfect indication of how well you're doing. Just know that one screw up against this boss, and a rather long boss fight, just had to start all over again. That's what I keep in mind fighting him. So it's best to take this one carefully. In hard mode, he runs a lot faster, and if he smacks you coming out of a lava pit, he just goes back in which is very, very nasty, especially if you're bad at timing jumps. Also, there is a little bit of an aura on when he jumps out, so you don't want to be too close. Also, you want to be careful that you always have enough mana to be able to use the wind a as a escape maneuver. You can also use it to jump up into him. He will move a lot faster once you've completely destroyed his body, but as you can see, He's not really a, too much of a threat on normal difficulty. Just want to run towards his tail. Ah. He is definitely a fight you do not want to drag out. And now he's a much smaller target. And this phase becomes a little bit nastier. When he pops out, he is now followed by a tail of flames. The good thing is, it is only as big as his body used to be, even though it looks yeah, very huge, and it's very intimidating. But don't be as worried by it as you might want to be. It takes a lot more damage, and the down thrust can kill it rather handily. So, that's the end of Ghoulin. Whew, am I glad to be done with him. One of my biggest stressors in this area. Really my biggest stressor in this area. Let's take a look at the monsters. Let's see, last we looked at was Barl, I believe. Ah, Caesarian. So, Zone. A mysterious underground creature. Its body is filled with some kind of high-pressure gas, causing it to bulge outward. Though it appears comical when it runs, its hollow eye has been known to make onlookers ill on sight. Ew, it's kind of gross. Zual. A mysterious bird which is adapted to life in the lava pits. Though they are predominantly carrion eaters, they will persistently attack anything which looks edible. Why any bird would live underground is still an enigma. The Almenger, a normal animal, they used their hard as a normal animal, they use their hard shells for defense for predators. Now they attack with a ferocious charge, occasionally doing so at random, as their docile nature is now a thing of the past. Anagumi, a strange chimney-like creature, they spew explosive projectiles when approached, so use caution. They also cannot move, so striking from a distance with the fire bracelet is effective. But I never think of that because they're fire. I mean, really, they're fire enemies. Why would that even work? And Gulen. A fire serpent found deep in the lava pits. Long had it slept, only to be awakened by Delarn's sorcery. It is a full 20 melee in length, and has reigned over the lava pits since time immemorial. 
Also, it bears a striking similarity to Volvagia, and Volvagia did come first. It's actually a very faithful translation of this boss from its original form, where it was rather similar, but not identical, because the original was a 2D game. But now, we'll show off just how awesome that wind ability is. He's actually using a very similar ability to something that you get later on in the game, but... Yeah, the wind ability is very nice. And as you can see here... We can now charge it. The emerald was obtained. There's no way for it to charge. You jump up, let it swirl us, and then use it again. You can cover a very long distance that way. Which means there are some things we can go back and get now that we couldn't get before. Always a good thing. Now means we also have an escape path from this crazy place. Isn't it nice when your enemy kicks you down to a place that gives you some of the powers you need to beat the game? I know I greatly appreciate it. Ah, Chester. Always looking out for us. Such a stand-up guy. Liking to stand up and stuff. Ah, Chester, Chester, Chester. Ow. You'll also notice I fought the boss very close to a level up. I tend to do that a lot, and since I don't grind or really care too much about getting my levels up, that will happen a lot. The only time I'll ever go back and get a level is, for example, when I realized that I didn't get the broadsword once, I did go off and grind a level and then get the broadsword. That level didn't help too terribly much, but it was nice to have. It was mostly because it was taunting me. And that's a different enemy. They're not really all that much of a threat, though. Because, well, for one, you can just do that against flying enemies now, which allows you to do combos even against aerial opponents. Which is definitely nice. This attack might seem broken, but it does have its limitations. Okay, very few of them. It's just nice. But, things can still hurt you through it, and there are enemies that it's not particularly effective against. Just like the fire. So, it will not be my only attack. Though I admit, it will be the magic you'll see me equipped with the most. Only due to its evasive nature. Think of it as the cape, um, in Mario terminology. Let's you fly, and does fairly good damage if you know how to use it. And now, what are all these beetles doing here? To show you that you no longer need to be afraid of small little things. Eh. And one survived and could have killed me. That would have been great. Ah. So now we have more paths open to us. Just gonna take a little bit of a segue since I have taken some damage. Ah, there we go. Much better. And now it's time to head towards... Freedom! Yeah. Until it's charged up. Get them all at once. Ah. The little rain of fire can be kind of nasty. Luckily, those things don't have very much health, so even though those strikes do a lot of health, they wouldn't really need to. And thankfully, the drops of healing herbs are still fairly common in this level. And the fact that they're that way is telling us we're supposed to be going that way. But we'd miss out on some treasure we didn't really want to die getting before. So we're not going to do that. We're going to take a little bit of a sidewalk. Er, sidestep. Segue. Ah, you know what I mean. Because over here, where we before were quite fearful to tread, we can now tear them up. But there are quite a few of them, so don't think that's all of them. We'll probably need two or three of these to be able to completely finish them off. But there they are. And what do we have here? But another 18 Revolve. Which, what does that bring us up to? 57. Enough that when we get back, 
Antonio is going to be very happy with us. Which will be nice, because we could use the money for our third set of armor. Which, as I was hinting at earlier, we can get there. Yeah. Yikes. I'm a little bit injured. I'm also a little bit hungry. So... That may make me record a little bit less tonight than some other occasions. Also, I'm recording this on Friday. It is my birthday this weekend. On Saturday, which I think... It's about when this video might be seen? I mean, no, this video will probably be seen on, like, Sunday. But regardless, um, I'll be 24, and I'm looking forward to that. Uh, okay, I'm kind of nervous. But regardless, just something to put out there. Have more of these little critters. Songs in the morning, you are insane. But you're very good at this game. You can kill those things without any kind of worry. Of course, you know, I can just swirl those guys, and you can swirl a lot of things, but it's not always worth it. Now this spot is pretty obvious. You just want to go around over here, do a charge. You don't always have to do charges to get to the things, but it does give you a little bit of extra hang time. And most of the things, well, even if you don't need the charge, why make your life harder? At least as long as you're not doing a, something like a perfect run of Mega Man. I mean, obviously, if you're doing that, you know, you're a professional. Yeah, I'm sorry. So, this looks pretty ominous, doesn't it? Yeah, don't fall down there. I forget where you land. I'm pretty sure, though, it's the same spot you land. You jump down that one area, or fall, and it's kind of annoying that to climb all the way back up. But, we're about to get another present. Ah, uh, Sky Cave. That sounds good, doesn't it? Well, it's definitely good for us, because we get an item... The texture of this place seems borked. Odd. But what do we get? But the Brokia Serum obtained. What does this let you do? Brokia Serum, a strong medicine made from the ripened fruit of a sacred tree. It enables the dash ability. Addle drank the faintly glowing water from the bottle. Addle's body overflowed with newfound energy and strength, and he gained the dash ability. Which, as you can see from the smoke, will always be on from now on. There's no point in ever turning it off. You run faster, you can dodge faster. It doesn't drain your health or anything, it's just better. But, well, can you, do you get that ominous feeling? 